Let me now address Mr. Bei Yam King, Mr. Seng Han Tong, and Mr. Lao Tia Kiang's concerns regarding the need for better translation. Improving the quality of translation is part of our efforts to enhance government communications. We recognize the government can and should do more to establish consistency in translation standards across the public service. But we cannot do this alone. We need the partnership of our community stakeholders across the private, public and people sectors. That is why we will set up the National Translation Committee to oversee short-term and long-term plans to enhance whole-of-government translation capabilities. It will engage community stakeholders who care deeply about translation and signal the government's commitment to communicate effectively with all Singaporeans, including those who are not proficient in English. I will chair this committee, which will include members from the media, academia, the translation industry, as well as government representatives. There will also be resource panels providing expert advice on specific translation problems, one each for Chinese, Malay and Tamil. The National Translation Committee will help improve the quality of translation in the following ways. First, the, com the committee will help draw up best practices to help public agencies procure or produce quality translation. This includes addressing potential pitfalls such as cheap sourcing without sufficient regard for quality and failing to vet translated material before public release. I believe that best sourcing practices, once established, will not only help our agencies procure quality services at fair rates, but also signal professional respect for skillful translators who understand the local context and are able to meet the public sector's requirements for accuracy and speed. Second, we want to create a collaboration platform among the public, private and people sectors to promote and raise translation standards. There are already informal networks of the like-minded who care deeply about our official languages and who support good translation. They include not only people who work with languages, such as teachers, media professionals and writers, but also members of the public. They are able to offer not just views on whether translating a term in a particular way is technically correct, but also rich insights into the more delicate aspects of linguistic convention, nuances and local flavour. We would like to reach out to such groups and tap on their collective wisdom and vigilance to grow community ownership on the issue of translation. Third, nurturing the next generation of translation talent for Singapore. Here I would like to pay tribute to Mr. Lee Singyap, an acclaimed veteran translator and interpreter. And here in this photo, you can see him in the interpreter's booth serving this house. One of the early pioneers of the local translation scene, Mr. Lee helped build up translation and interpretation standards for the public service. He also headed the then Ministry of Culture's translation service from 1969 to 1980, and in his 29 years as a civil servant, has helped to groom many outstanding translators. After his retirement in the 1990s, Mr. Lee continued to share his expertise through lecturing in translation and interpretation at NTU. I had the good fortune of having been taught by him when I took a postgraduate diploma in translation and interpretation some years ago. We need more of such translators in the public service. We will look into collaborating with civil service college and educational institutions to, bro to provide more training for our current in-house translators and also to offer translation scholarships to young talent. These are still ideas we are exploring and I will bring them to the NTC.